previously on the Mayhem Prone Show. Uh oh. Why hello, I am Kimikaze. Any slightly intelligent person who watched the series would find it obvious that it was cartoons who won in the end. We have discovered that the real mastermind behind this plot is none other than Aeon. And now, the conclusion. What do you mean Aeon's the villain? That's impossible. Well, it's actually quite simple. The community has recently been introduced to two new major villains, Thunderblight and Cartoons. What do these two have in common? Well, their creations were both a result of Aeon giving Lightning Bliss that spellbook. It is also apparent that Aeon cares about these two villains, who on multiple occasions he has called his children. Oops, I'm afraid I've caught you in the midst of a little lie. I'm afraid that Aeon actually aided in Cartoon's defeat by lying about the contents of that spellbook. Well, I'm glad you brought that up, because one of the major points of your argument is the fact that that lie did not sound at all convincing. You naturally assume that this was an error on Aeon's part, but it's been shown many other places that he is, in fact, a great liar. So what gives? Well, I believe that if your theory is true, then Aeon purposely made his lie not convincing in order to tip off Cartoons and ensure his future survival. This way, Cartoons was able to secretly live on without anybody in the community becoming the slight bit suspicious. You bring up a good point, but what does this have to do with Aeon being an evil mastermind? Maybe he's just a caring parent. Well, I'm glad you asked. After watching and re-watching dozens of videos, it has become apparent to me that Aeon seeks power. Aeon has expressed his hatred of the fact that very few people have noticed him. In addition, he's shown his sick joy of possessing and controlling his friends. Well, if that's true, then why hasn't he struck yet? Well, once again, that's quite simple. Aeon's been a part of the community for a long time and has therefore seen many tyrants rise and fall. The common trend is that they almost always work alone, which leads to their defeat. Aeon is far too smart to fall to such a simple flaw, so he's trying to do something that no other villain in the community has ever succeeded in. He is attempting to build an army. So where is this so-called army? Well, he's actually building it right in front of your eyes. He started off with Thunderblight and Cartoons. One is extremely powerful, and the other is a master of strategy and psychological warfare. After this, Aeon stopped creating new alternate personalities. This may be because creating new life requires a ton of magic, or because so many new villains popping up so quickly would be quite suspicious. Either way, he switched his strategy to recruitment. In the round table is magic, Nightmare Night Special, Aeon calls all of the evil personalities his children. This seriously confused me, until suddenly it hit me. Aeon is trying to insert himself as a parental figure to gain all of their trust, and by extension, their loyalty. That's right, Aeon's trying to convince all the evil personalities in the community, except for Loathsome, to work for him. And for over a year, Aeon has been trying to bring Lightning Bliss, one of the strongest members of the community, to the dark side. And speaking of Lightning Bliss, she's one of the few members of the community that could actually stop him. So what did he do? He convinced her to sign a contract that made all of her magic useless on him. So Aeon purposely planned out the magic lessons so that he could eliminate his one true threat. The evidence isn't just there, it's blatantly obvious that he is planning something big. And there you go, Aeon is the one behind all these recent events happening in the community. Very good, Mayhem. You may not be as dull as I originally thought. But if this theory is true, is it possible that you were created by Aeon? <laughs> Maybe so? Maybe not. I'll be seeing you around soon. Ciao! Well that's eerie. But what do you think? Are either of my two theories plausible? Did cartoons live? Is Aeon the real mastermind behind all of these capers? Leave a comment in the section down below to let me know what you think. And I have to give a special shout out to DJ Silverwings. He helped me research this episode, and it would not have been possible without him, so thanks! Well, now that Season 6 has ended, the Mayhem Prone Show is going to go on a bit of a hiatus. But don't worry, I'm not going to stop making videos. Be prepared for several new episodes of Dimension M to come out in the next few months. And I'm also working on several collaboration projects, so look out for those. And until next time, I'm Mayhem Prone from the Mayhem Prone Show. And goodbye!